and we are back playing against Matahari, them level 371. That's pretty high, mate. Um, I think I'm lacking in the Mongols game, so we'll play those. Are you guys been? It's been a couple of days since the video. Hope you guys are enjoying them. Got a Mongol mirror. Hmm. That's not something I've played a lot. Um, you want to play this. I think you want to get some sort of event that you need to do and then play H3. Which goes for many sieves and many matchups. But that feels right. I think you need the train spears. If I don't train spears, then I could just lose my Uhu, and I think you're getting up a lot of momentum. <coughs> I don't know, you're just gonna have your have a different, difficult game that way. Sorry that I'm stopping for words sometimes. So we don't intend to go tower behind this or anything, it's just it just simply spheres. I think we'll just pick it up with the con. Alright, so we got 40 woods in the bank. Oh, never mind, the sheeps are gone. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna single produce once and then double produce twice. Holy shit, 22 sheep. Okay, he also has them. We might be able to get a sneaky hit in here. That's alright with me. It's costing me a lot of HP to kill two sheep. So we'll just H. And let's see what he's up to. Um, I didn't really think about which age up to pick actually. I probably should have gone uh, Silver Tree. Hmm. 
but we'll try to make this work. So he's definitely had to train more spears than me. And I don't want to produce too many spears, I'm gonna go archers, which is why I'm transitioning onto woods. And I'm also gonna upgrade my spears when I hit H2. So if he messes like a lot of spears and he pushes out, then I just have stronger spears. Which is nice. Not too sure about going uh, deer stones. You probably want to just go... Uh, Silver tree. But I think we'll play really aggressive. So we'll get um we'll go for like a ramp push this game. Because I think I suspect he will go silver tree. And I also think he invested more already. He's also got a lot of sheep. Um which is worrying, right? Because then I could get outskilled in that way. So I think Rams can be a good choice here. Hmm. And I'm gonna get the attack as soon as this finishes. in the area um, then we can just kind of siege it he is making a silver tree as expected the spears aren't here they gotta be somewhere so I was planning to ramp this down but since he's uh, not in the area uh, I'm kind of just sieging it for free. I think we might need a tower here. I need more spears since he's training horsemen. Okay, it's not a lot to say, there's a lot going on, but the main thing is that we're destroying more of him than he's destroying them. Um, 
Mm, I think he isn't making traders for now. And my plan here is to simply okay, go H up. Uh, I don't know why this. So I want to use my uh, con to get some vision on what's going on. Just gonna kill the spears rather than the vills because I want to go knights. Okay, we got that going on. And we should be able to H. So we'll go stables, get ourselves some knights. Maybe kill the scouts. He is already up. It's a bit unexpected. Alright, just screw the ram at this point. You kind of want to just uh, make sure that your army has mobility. Um, I'm gonna double produce knights and we'll just go knights crossbow. Trying to get ourselves. I'm gonna get myself some ranged armor because I might be diving towers or TC. Okay, so it's not spring old towers, it's just uh, arrow slits. Nothing to worry about too much.
think we're gonna pick up the spears here. Gives us more uh, range attacks. Now we can go on the deer, actually. But this is full, so we can dive the, uh, the gold mine for free here. He's, he can't really run. game. Mm, a bit messy. I don't think um, I don't think this was that much of a strategic win. I think this was a bit mechanically playing better. Um, so I wasn't sure what Lambark to go and I kind of just dropped the Deer Stones without thinking too much. And I think you can play either. You can also try play Silver Tree and then get some trade going. But um, you have to, you have to have the momentum, and so in this case, what happened basically is that he had, he trained more spears than me because he's losing them, and then he's remaking them, so he's investing more into his H one, um, and then I macroed probably macroed better, and also just uh, had more resources because I didn't have to um, as make as many spears as him. So this is where I drop my landmark, and this is where he drops his landmark. So we have a lot of time advantage, which was so partly because of macro, with which you can't know, but also because of less producing spears. We only made the five, and he made like eight, um, which means you know we get to H two faster, and then you can just go at archers to counter the spears, and really take control of the game, take momentum. Um, which is exactly what we did. And as soon as he's like losing buildings and stuff, I think his spear should have been here to garrison in the tower um, so that I would have to make a ram. But in this case, he wasn't there on time to defend the tower. And then I just already was getting value before the ram even showed up. So that's pretty rough for him. Uh, yeah, we were planning on taking the relics. You can also build this next to the Uvu to double produce. <laughs> and then you can scoop them up really fast, but uh, we we were kind of really winning and chilling, so we weren't doing everything right. And yeah, just a really good KD. And that's going to be the game. See you in the next one.